first alert weather. We're bringing in some cold temperatures tonight through tomorrow. Once again, we're pretty much uh, putting the forecast on repeat here with the chilly numbers and areas of freezing fog tonight. Not everybody's seeing thick fog, but uh, it's going to be out there. We're going to see little hits of fog off and on here for the overnight early morning hours and a few flakes from that fog. Currently in Idaho Falls, we're seeing seven as the sun is setting with light winds at five miles an hour. Pocatello, the Farm Bureau Sky Cam. Uh, things have cleared out a little bit this afternoon. We're still getting some haze as you look across the valley and a live look at the temperatures of the airport. We're at 15 degrees with no wind reported at the moment. On Viper, it is dry locally across eastern Idaho and Wyoming. The only exception being here for tonight will be the chance of a few flakes from the fog and low cloud cover. As we take a look at the big picture, though, you have to go all the way east towards Rapid City, South Dakota to see any significant snowfall tonight. Locally, though, we have high pressure working into the region. This ridge of high pressure strengthening over the Pacific Northwest for tonight and tomorrow, and that's just going to double the cold air efforts coming down from the north here, keeping things mighty cold tonight through tomorrow, plus also a little bit of wind enough to bring in some nasty wind chill values that could get as cold as 30 below for the wind chill as you're stepping outside tomorrow morning. So as we take a look at the forecast, that high is actually going to settle in right overhead tomorrow afternoon. It's going to park itself over southern Idaho and northern Nevada and Utah for Friday afternoon. And we're going to have that cold air wrapping around this ridge of high pressure. And again, the high pushing down on the atmosphere, keeping things per pretty stagnant. Uh, and that allows for some of that fog and low cloud cover just to sit into the valleys. Now, as we get into Saturday, we'll start to move that high just a little bit further to the southeast. As a result, temperatures increase just a smidge Midge here for Saturday and Sunday afternoon, but we still keep it pretty chilly for the weekend. Uh, nonetheless, we'll have temperatures in the upper 20s below freezing and some patchy freezing fog for Saturday as well. Some snowy weather starting to work in from the Gulf of Alaska by this Monday. It's not a major storm, but enough to shake up the atmosphere a little bit. So as we roll into the Viper cast tomorrow morning, we'll have spots of fog across the Snake River Plain with some cloud cover to the north of us, and we'll keep it fairly sunny for the afternoon like we saw today. Saturday, we're repeating the forecast. We will see fairly sunny skies for the Saturday afternoon with some now we're starting to encroach into the northwest, getting into places like Seattle and Vancouver and then North Idaho starting to pick up on some snow by Sunday afternoon and Missoula, Montana and areas there of northwest Montana starting to see some good snow again by Sunday. But as we work into Monday, that stuff drifts in our direction and we'll have some scattered snow showers to kick off the work week. This is not going to be a major snowstorm, mostly into the mountains, but it's going to be enough that even the valleys could see some light accumulation for tonight and tomorrow. Once again, areas of freezing fog. I know I sound like a broken record. North winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Wind chills, look at those numbers. Yeah, dangerously cold into the minus 30 range when you get the wind chills in that direction. You get the frostbite setting in at 20 to 30 minutes on exposed skin if you're out there long enough. But we are expecting to see lows tonight about minus 5 in lava, 24 for the high tomorrow, minus 12 tonight in Soda Springs. We'll be down to 15 below in Rexburg, 12 below for Ashton and St. Anthony. We'll be about uh, 13 below, I should say, for St. Anthony tonight. 10 below in Jackson and Drinks tonight. Temperatures at 1 below in Chalice, 12 below in Sam and 6 below in Arco with highs tomorrow at 19 to 20 degrees on average for the plain. 12 below tonight in Idaho Falls, 13 below in Rigby, 6 below around Pocatello. Eight-day forecast, temperatures slightly warmer for the weekend. We're expecting to see light winds, some foggy conditions in areas of Jackson with some scattered snow arriving Monday and Tuesday with temperatures warming just a little bit, but cold air rushing back in behind the Monday storm. 29 for the high Sunday, uh, excuse me, for Saturday in Salmon, 32 for Sunday in Salmon. Got those days backwards, sorry about that, but Blackfoot to have 27 for Saturday, 25 on Sunday, 30 degrees on Monday with some scattered snow. Rexburg, a high of 17 tomorrow, 28 for the high on Saturday. Uh, even with the warm temperature bump this weekend, we're still going to be below freezing, 24 for the high on Monday. Pocatello, a high of 29 for Saturday, 30 degrees on Sunday. We're expecting to pull in some scattered snow on Monday, and once that Monday system Slings on through. We're going to have some colder temperatures coming back through here for next week. Idaho Falls, 19 degrees tomorrow, 27 on Saturday, and we'll be into the upper 20s, lower 30s for Monday. Scattered snow in the forecast to get us started for the work week and dropping highs into the teens as we get into next week behind the Monday system. Our John Adams, Spirit of Idaho, coming to us from Lanny and Idaho Falls, a beautiful winter sunset. You know, you look outside your window, it looks beautiful, but you see all that snow in the ground and it just makes you cold as you just look at this picture. We like to see your Spirit of Idaho go to news3now.com and you click on weather. 
And after you click on weather on the website, you'll see a drop down for Spirit of Idaho. Todd, yeah, looks nice, but frosty. Yeah, for sure. I like the colors. Thanks. Coming up, the Denver Broncos reportedly have a new head coach. Sports Director Eric.